Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for my lovely Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising. As you guys can see, we pulled out the cards already. They've been shuffled, they've been pulled out for time purposes. So let's just jump right into your reading, Taurus. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. Now your first card here is the Emperor card and the Emperor card could have to do with a father figure or this could be your partner as well that is uh, taking um, taking hold of your life in the sense of showing you uh, through actions that they have your, you know, that you have their emotional support. Uh, this is, the emperor usually gives me an energy of someone that is very structured. It's a person that is very grounded. And more than anything, this is a person that is extremely logical in their actions and movements. Um, but I'm more than that, I'm, I'm sensing more of like he, he or she is being the backbone for you at this point in time. Um, now, the messages are coming through very differently for many different people. So it's going to be different messages. Just take the, the reading for what it is and what resonates to you. Now, for those of you guys that are currently in communication with the father figure, there is a lot of healing that's happening. And this could have to do in regards to past um past issues or uh, perhaps the father figure was not really ever around for some of you guys. So this is, you know, I've been saying throughout the whole year, we do have Saturn in uh, Capricorn. So Saturn is the karma planet. And what this entails for each and every single, uh, every, each and every single zodiac sign, it represents the conclusion of a lot of things. It also represents the need or necessity uh, to heal, have you learned your lessons? Um, have you been able to see past whatever struggles or circumstances from early childhood? Have you been able to heal and let go of whatever anger, animosity, or even hurt that you've been holding on towards for some of you guys in regards to the father figure? Now, for others of you, this could represent um, having are going through a lesson that has to do with what people would consider, you know, the norms in regards to society. For some of you guys, you guys have been in a long-term committed relationship for a very long time. And for some of you, Taurus, you've chosen to go uh, not the ordinary type of lifestyle for some of you guys it could be that you've been living with a partner for quite a while and now there's a desire to want to manifest and take it to the next level for some it could be commitment for others it could be marriage and perhaps some of you guys cringed at the thought of marriage um, but again Saturn in Capricorn is asking you have you learned your lessons if you have been against marriage or have chosen not to get married, what are the reasons? What are the fundamental reasons? Has it ha does it have to do with past traumatic um, experiences from, you know, early childhood? Did you or were you raised in a broken home? Um, did you feel like, you know, marriage in itself is not ever long lasting? What is it? Is it truly what you want? Of, of resisting marriage or is it because you've created these ideas from hurt uh, as a defensive mechanism and Saturn being in Capricorn now it's asking you are these your true genuine feelings or are you holding on to this idea of what you think your life should be in a rebellious sense because you're in reality trying to rebel against your childhood perhaps you know, rebel against your father, your mother, that type of energy. Um, now, again, with the emperor here and the four of pentacles, you're very protective of your heart at this present time. So this could be for a lot of you, Taurus, you've been cutting out friends, you've been cutting out family members, people that are not helping you become a better person. And I totally and genuinely applaud you for that. Um, unfortunately, sometimes we have to do that. Because at the end of the day, it's about our well-being and our happiness. Um, but the Four of Pentacles does talk about being a little bit guarded in regards to your love and romance as well. For some of you guys, uh, you for those of you guys that have been in a long-term committed relationship, your partner in some ways has become almost 
what you've needed in this lifetime to help you go through those healing stages to get to a point where you can actually become the person that you were meant to be and make choices in regards to commitments or in regards to marriage or in regards to children, whatever this may be, based off of your life experience, not trying to rebel for something that you've been holding on since childhood. And I feel that for some of you guys, um, the partner has played a very important role. They have been, again, perhaps been, um, you know, supporting you in some way, whether it's emotional, whether it's financial, whether it's whatever, it could, it could mean a multitude of things. But at the end of the day, are you reciprocating that love? Are you being completely wholeheartedly open and giving them and showering them with love? And if the answer is no, I'm still hurt and I'm still, even though they've, you know, through test and trial, they've shown me that they care for me. I, I st I'm still scared that I will end up getting hurt. And what spirit is telling you with the Ace of Cups, open up. It's okay for you to be emotionally happy. It's okay for you to feel genuine love. It is okay. Do not fear it. Do not question it. Open yourself up and you will see that that love that you give will be reciprocated tenfold. Whether it's family members, whether it's... um you know, friends, whether it's colleagues, whatever it is. And again, do not fear to cut out those people that bring chaotic type of energy into your life. Okay. Now you do have the nine of swords here and the nine of swords. It could be a lot of, um, feeling of anxiety or feeling of a lot of anxiousness in regards to the future. So for some of you Taurus, you've been uh, for those of you Taurus out there that have been single for quite a while, it could be that you're very emotionally frustrated that you haven't been able to find a partner that has a lot of commonalities with you and that wants or desires the same things that you want. And this could be anxiousness towards that. Will I ever find happiness? Will I ever be happy? Will I ever find a person that's right for me? And the question is, Try the best you can to live in the now. Stop thinking of the future. Live in the now. Go out. Be social. Um, of course, you know, sitting at home, you know, watching a good movie or something is not going to take you closer to meeting a person that's right for you. You have to take action and make movement in order to get the ball rolling. Um, and again, with the Nine of Swords, a lot of anxiety in regards to um, moving forward or what's to come for you. Again, like I said, the best advice here is spirit is telling you breathe and open yourself up to new opportunities. Stop worrying about the future. Live in the now. A lot of the times when we focus so much in the very far near future, uh, what we're doing is we're kind of missing out in being able to experience the now moment or being able to even acknowledge someone looking at you, giving you a very cute smile or something trying to get your attention because you're so focused on just that one, you know, goal or what you're wanting or what you're desiring that you're kind of forgetting to take everything in, in the sense of being mindful towards the energies around you. Okay. Now I definitely do see a lot of progression for you, Taurus. Um, I know it's been difficult since last year. It's been very challenging for a lot of you guys, but the six of swords does promise very quick movement. Um, quick in the sense of you've been at a point in your life where perhaps some of you guys have experienced feeling of stuckness. Nonetheless, you will start to experience movement and progression in regards to finances as we do have the emperor and the four of pentacles here. Um, so it's progression in regards to finances, finances and stability, but it also speaks about um, moving towards calmer waters in regards to your emotional um, your emotional happiness, uh, a lot of turmoil for a lot of Taurus. Nonetheless, I feel that you're going to start to heal. There's, it's been a process for you guys, but you're still continuously healing through this process. Um, for others of you, it's actually the physical moving on from a relationship. Um, for some of you guys that are, or have been in a long-term committed relationship where you feel like the, the only thing that's holding you to that relationship is the responsibilities. As an example, children, um, marriage, and family. What this is telling me is that with the Ace of Cups, there is a promise for a new beginning in regards to love and romance. 
but you need to stop stressing about the current situation and understand that even choosing not to make a move is still a choice. So do not feel or do not play the victim card if you're in an unhappy marriage or in an unhappy relationship. If you feel that this person continuously keeps, um, you know, continuously keeps proving to you that they're not as committed or that they're not as invested in the relationship as you are, then spirit is telling you it's time to move on. And you're going to continuously keep tossing and turning late at night, wondering uh, when your life is going to change until the day you decide to take the reins of your own life. And again, like I said, stop, you know, playing the victim regardless of circumstance, know and understand that not making a choice is still making a choice. So the best to come is up to you. Uh, the Six of Swords does promise moving to calmer waters, moving on from the past towards new beginnings. But again, you need to make action and take action, make movement in order to make those things happen. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, subscribe, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.